what's going on everybody this is pastor shay aka chaplain g coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today so check this out i wanted to bring y'all this word of encouragement and i want to i want to put the bottom line up front as we say in the military right when we prove to be faithless god remains faithful i was reading this passage this morning man and as i'm reading it i'm like oh man god's so upset and you know his his name has been profaned among the nations, and he's 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 not happy about it. Like his people are supposed to be his people, they're not repping the way they're supposed to. What is God going to do? And then God comes through and says, not not in a I'm going to get y'all kind of way, not in a way that you know when you did something against your parents and they're like, just wait till your dad gets home <laughs> or something like that, right? It's not it's not in, in this in this way that's like that's that's punishment behind it. There's love. There's forgiveness, there's reconciliation, there's grace, there's mercy. When we prove to be faithless, God remains faithful. Well, let me read y'all this. This comes out of the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36. Y'all, I'm going to pick it up in verse 23. Y'all check this out. God says, and I will vindicate my holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations and which you have profaned among them. And the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Lord God, when through you I vindicate my holiness before their eyes. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I'll sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. And I will give you a new heart, and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh. And I'll give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you. And cause you to walk in my statutes. And careful to obey my rules. Man. God says like I know all the stuff that's gone wrong. I, I, I've seen you sin. I see where you're falling short. I've seen the times when you were supposed to be repping me that you didn't. I see all the times that 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 should have been about me, that you made it about yourself. I see the times when you should have forgave somebody and you didn't. I saw the times when, when you should have loved somebody and you hated them instead. I, I watched it all happen. And instead of giving you punishment because you're my people, I'm gonna gather you to myself. I'm gonna I'm going to give you, I'm going to take that heart of stone out of you. I'm going to do like this heart transplant and give you a fresh heart, a heart of a heart that's soft and gushy and has love in it and, and grace and forgiveness in it. I'm going to take that whole, that, that old dead hard thing and make it soft and new and loving. Man, we, we disrespect God so much on a daily basis and God looks at that. And he says, yeah, I know, but you're my people and I love you. And I know what's gone wrong. There's something wrong on the inside. And I know you can't fix it on your own. It's going to take my grace and my mercy. I'm going to put a new heart within you. I'm going to, I'm going to rearrange your insides. I'm going to rearrange your DNA. I'm going to do this, this open heart surgery where, where I got to take the, the dead stuff, the, the, the necrotic tissue, the, 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 all, the, all the dead and nastiness and death and disease and destruction. I need to remove all of that and give you something new, a fresh start, a holy start. You're not able to be holy on your own. So I'm going to put my holiness within you. And all the laws that I need you to follow, all the all the times where I said, "Look, you know, love your parents, love me, love your neighbor. Don't, don't, don't murder them, don't steal from them, don't, don't try to take from them." All those rules that I knew you couldn't follow, and I'm gonna cause you to follow them. I'm gonna place something new within you when you where you love to follow these rules. Because you can see that there's life in them. You can see that this is part of my personality. You can see where there's love and happiness in my presence. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. Man, this is this is such a great message, man. God, God knows that we can't do it on our own. And instead of like holding it against us, 
when we come into his family, when we receive this, this love of Christ, when Jesus says, the only way to the Father is for you to be born again, he's talking about this process of removing that, that old dead man and a new man coming to life. You don't have anything to do with your, your, your initial birth, this second birth. It's all about God placing this new heart within you. It's all about Jesus coming in and dying for all those transgressions against God. It's all about the Holy Spirit coming in and, and rooting out where this sin is. And let me, let me get it out of you so that when you come into the presence of God, he can say, welcome home, son. Well done. Come into my courts. Sit at my table. Fellowship with me for all eternity. Man, this is... I love this passage, man. There's there's so many different ways that I can read this passage in Ezekiel. But man, it's such an encouragement this morning that um, all the times when I when I walk in sin in this life, God promised me, He promised me, and He promises you, I will take that that old dead thing and I'll give you something new. When when you are faithless, I will remain faithful. I got you, yo. That's that's a good word for today, man. Yo, I, I hope y'all receive it well. Yo, I'm praying for y'all. I hope you're doing well. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. All that jazz, man. And, and thank you for watching these videos all the way through. It, it helps It helps tell YouTube that you're actually interested in what you're watching. Tell folks what we're doing over here, man. It, it helps out. Subscribe if, you, if you're watching this stuff and you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to it. All that jazz, man. It, it helps out so more people can hear about it. Yo, there's somebody today in your life that needs to hear that God could take all the times when they've been unfaithful and he proves to them that he will remain faithful to them. Somebody needs to hear that in your life today. But I love y'all. I hope y'all doing well. Praying for you. And you'll until next time. Grace and peace.